forward to this. Hey guys, it's River Thames, and this is probably the biggest news reveal we have had for Battlefront 2 yet. At EA Play, Battlefront confirmed that Clone Wars content is coming this year, starting in the summer. With new heroes Obi Wan Kenobi, General Grievous, Count Dooku, and Anakin Skywalker, my personal favourite. Absolutely insane, but this was not all. All of these heroes will play on where the Clone Wars begun, on Geonosis. I'm going to play out the EA Play conference so you can see it for yourself. Stick around after as I'll be deep diving and breaking down everything you need to know for this upcoming content. Hello there. My name is Dennis. I work at DICE in Stockholm on Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'm really happy and excited to be here today, so thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. So we launched our game in November of last year, and clearly we didn't get it quite right. So instead of coming out of the gate sprinting like we really wanted to, we had to take a step back and make sure that we were delivering the game that our players really wanted. So we decided to completely overhaul our progression system and add a bunch of new character cosmetics for players to collect instead. So from there, we added a new hunt mode inspired by the original Battlefront games that I loved personally, starting with the Ewoks on Endor. And <laughs> thank you. Uh, we, um, it turned out to be by far the most popular update of the game, and the team loved building Ewok Hunt. So as you might know, we're currently in our Han Solo season with content from the movie coming next week. It's headlined by the new planet Kessel, a really dangerous place, and it features the return of one of our favorite modes, Extraction. So looking forward a little bit, this summer we will be introducing a new squad system to the game, which will allow you to team up much easier and play with your friends. We're also adding a new Starfighter mode focused around dogfighting with your hero ships. And looking ahead a little bit more, we will also be delivering a new large-scale multiplayer sandbox experience focused around capturing command posts and attacking and taking out capital ships. But that's not all. We know that you have been asking for new heroes, villains, and planets from a certain era that features a very iconic Star Wars conflict, so I'm excited to confirm that Battlefront 2 this year will be going deep into the Clone Wars. It's only fitting that we begin on the planet Geonosis, featuring multiple levels, including the largest level we have ever built for Battlefront. So let's talk about the heroes and villains. First, let me introduce the most powerful droid, <laughs> the leader of the most powerful droid army in the galaxy, General Grievous. And yes, he will be going up against my own personal favorite, Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. Finally making his debut in Battlefront after all these years. So, but we're, we're not done. That's not it. They will not come alone. Joining them is the Dark Lord and leader of the Separatist Alliance, Count Dooku, as well as someone to bring balance to the Force, Obi-Wan's unruly Padawan, Anakin Skywalker. The team at home is extremely excited to be building all of these cool things. EA and DICE are committed to Battlefront. We had a rough start, but I really think that this game has a bright future. Thank you very much for playing the game, providing us with your feedback, talking to us. Together, we will make this the greatest game that we can possibly build. There would be no Battlefront without you. So thank you, may the force be with you, and enjoy the rest of E3. Thanks. So this is absolutely huge. So let's go and break all of this down and tell you everything you need to know for future content in the Clone Wars. There will also be a large scale non-linear game mode which features capturing command posts and taking down capital ships, which sounds very much like Conquest that I know would do wonders for this game. 
A new squad system is launching in the summer, an easier way to play and interact with your friends on the battlefront, as well as the Starfighter Hero Showdown modes. Basically the way this game mode works is that you spawn as a hero ship, if you're defeated you are spawned back as a standard Starfighter. The first team to take down all hero ships win the match. But when is all this content coming? Well, a community roadmap is coming at the end of June, with every piece of content coming in the next few months. With this roadmap, fans will know exactly what they're waiting for this time and get excited for the future. Geonosis is said to include multiple levels, meaning there will be more than one map in this DLC, and features the largest ever map made by DICE in Star Wars Battlefront. This is massive news, everything the community has been asking for and it's finally being revealed. The roadmap for future content will be coming at the end of June, which is this month. As DICE and EA are focusing on the Han Solo season right now, which you should keep in mind that Kessel, Extraction and the new hero skins are releasing on Tuesday the 12th of June. So despite all of the hype around Clone Wars content, the new heroes and the map and everything, to do with EA Play, save some hype for Tuesday because you will be getting a new DLC. EA Play was a massive turnaround for Battlefront 2 and it was great to see Dennis so excited on the stage to share and admirably admit their mistakes in the past. The rest of this year is going to be a massive, massive turnaround and I'm so glad to be a part of it. Thanks for watching, it's been River and I'll see you in the next video.